Hi, I'm Chris Lee with the Williamson Source. We are here at Alexander Chevrolet Buick and GMC in Dixon, about 30 miles from Franklin. We're going to talk some football with you, but before we do that, you need to take a look at this vehicle that I'm talking about right here. If you really want to impress the neighbors and have room for everything, you can check it out in this brand new 2018 Silverado Sierra, savings up to $12,500 off manufacturer suggested retail price. Now let's talk some football. We're going to talk to private schools today, and let's start with Brentwood Academy, one of the best teams, not just in the state, but in the country. Now, BA lost a ton of players from a year ago. Cam Johnson, their star wide receiver, who was maybe the best in the state at his position, is now at Vanderbilt. His quarterback, Gavin Schoenwald, is also at Vanderbilt. He's playing tight end. Look across the defense, there are guys that are gone there. Jackson Sermon is at Washington. Luke Knox is down in Ole Miss with a scholarship that he got late. So a lot of kids on that defense and that offense who were not back from last year. But guess what? If there's any team that reloads year after year, it is Brentwood Academy. And I have a feeling they're going to figure it out this year as well. Tomorrow Pleasant was a running back for them a year ago who had a really good season. Came on down the stretch, made a lot of big plays for them. Tahir Anur is a kid who was a really good player in the secondary for them. They've got defensive linemen all over the place, so many of them a year ago. Really their approach was just committee. They got so many guys on the defensive line that could make plays when they needed them and they could just rotate bodies in and out. Teams at a high school level do not have the luxury that BA usually has. Just so many players on that team year in and out. But I'm going to give you one name to watch this year and it's Devin Curtis. He's a linebacker. He started to get a lot of attention from major colleges even though he's just going to be a junior. That kid has got a chance to be a Southeastern Conference football player. He had a fantastic game for them in the state title game a year ago where he was the MVP of that game. Watch for him to really shine this year. Let's talk about BGA. That's another team that's going to have some college level prospects on their defense in particular. Chico Bennett, their linebacker, was maybe the best pass rusher in the area last year. He had 15, 20 sacks, something in that area. He got offers from a lot of major schools and is going to head to Georgia Tech on a scholarship. That kid is maybe the best pass rusher in our area, so watch him this year. Their secondary is really good. Garnet Hollis and Antonio Stevens, defensive backs for them. Both those kids are getting Southeastern Conference offers. Look, Rock Batten knows how to put a defense together. They were really good a year ago. My question for them is on offense. They lost their quarterback. They lost a lot of playmakers. But again, Rock Batten is a really good coach and I think BGA is going to be just fine. Last school we're going to talk about is Grace Christian Academy. Just so many question marks for this team this coming year. Austin Moore, their quarterback, is gone, but that's a team that has put together some really good games lately as they're still new to football. They haven't been in existence for 10 years yet. They're really well coached under Coach Rusty Smith, who's a former Titans quarterback. I have a feeling that team, although it may struggle a little bit this year with losing some of its main players, is going to end up being okay too. I'm Chris Lee with the Williamson Source. Come out and see the nice people at Alexander Buick GMC of Dixon, not far from Franklin. Great people, great deals. I think you'll be happy if you come out and take a look at what they've got.